Good friends, you can depend on us. Member FDIC. For years, you've run on the same premium gasoline. You didn't see a clear reason to switch. Until now. Crystal Clear Amoco Ultimate. The only premium gasoline that's crystal clear. Crystal clear. It's refined an extra step to remove harmful impurities called PNA. PNA? Harmful impurities that can rob your engine of performance and contribute to hydrocarbon exhaust emissions. Crystal Clear Amoco Ultimate. You expect more from a leader. Now at Circle and Food Shops all over Northeast Georgia, there's one right over there. If you're having hot flashes, don't go to the doctor. Head to North Hall Hardware. We'll quench your spring fever with savings on spring cleaning supplies. I'm Chris Salong, and we've got everything you need for a clean start this spring. The 18-inch garage broom is only $4.88. A 32-gallon plastic trash can on wheels by Tucker is only $9.99. And Rubbermaid's regular size laundry basket is only $2.88. Clean up with North Hall Hardware, Cleveland Highway at Quillen's Corner. Money matters, medicine, social issues, fun topics. It's a better variety of talk on WDUN AM 55. Continuing news time is 740. athens Clark County Police say the bodies of two women found Sunday behind the main post office in Athens are those of a young woman and a teenager missing from Elberton since early Saturday. Police spokeswoman Hilda Soros says it's not clear, though, whether the two had been raped before they were killed. Results from the state crime lab indicate Lisa Milstead died as a result of blunt trauma to the head and one gunshot to the head. Christy Denise Arnold died of multiple gunshots to the head. Authorities say they have no suspects in the case, and police are trying to determine the Athens connection, believing the pair was killed elsewhere and their bodies dumped in Athens. Meanwhile, counselors have been trying to help 10th graders at Elbert County High School cope with the death of the 16-year-old. And a representative of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce said in Gainesville yesterday that the business community no longer has the luxury of a presidential veto to protect its interest in Washington. Jim Schell, the U.S. Chamber's senior legislative manager, spoke to a meeting of Gainesville Chamber officials at Holiday Inn. Business has to become, and we're trying to do that in the U.S. Chamber, much more proactive. We are trying to get involved in the legislative process early and trying to work as much as we can. We may not be successful, but work as much as we can with the new administration and with the leadership of the new Congress to try to get the best deal that can be obtained for the business community. Shell told his Gainesville audience that the U.S. Chamber's major concerns about the Clinton economic package is its over-reliance on tax increases and concern that tax incentives are too limited. WDWN AM 55, continuing news time is 7.42. From the ABC Newsroom, Russian President Boris Yeltsin meets with the Parliament Speaker and the head of Russia's highest court this morning to discuss the political crisis that concerns the question of who governs Russia. It appears this morning that both sides are backing away from a showdown. An Egyptian-born man believed by authorities to be the ringleader in the bombing of the World Trade Center in New York is now in the hands of the FBI. ABC's Morton Dean says Mahu Abu Halima was arrested in Egypt. Dean says Abu Halima was put on a plane in Cairo this morning and is now on his way to the U.S. Dean also says two more arrests are expected in the U.S. in the next few weeks. Schools in Kalkoska, Michigan are closing for the year today because school officials have not been able to get more money from taxpayers to keep programs fully funded. A few hundred people in East Tennessee spent the night away from their homes as heavy rain soaked the area. More than five inches of rain has already come down and more is forecast. For the ABC Information Network, I'm Joe Templeton. This is Doug Limerick of ABC News. Join me during Fun at 4 and 5 on WDUN AM 55, the information and talk station. Continuing news time is 7.43. Now let's check the WDUN AM 55 three-day forecast, and here's Rob Carolyn. Foggy conditions will be giving way to variably cloudy skies during today. There is the chance of a shower as the atmosphere heats up, especially this afternoon, high 63 to 68. Tonight, partly cloudy, some patchy fog, 40 to 45. For Thursday, it'll be partly to mostly cloudy. A few showers may develop by the late afternoon, highs in the mid-60s. Cloudy with occasional rain for Thursday night, lows 40 to 45, and the rain is expected to taper off during the day on Friday, high temperatures in the middle 60s. I'm meteorologist Rob Carolyn with the WDUN AM 55 three-day forecast. In Columbus, partly cloudy, 57 degrees this morning. In Athens, mostly cloudy, 58. Here in Gainesville, skies are mostly clear now. Relative humidity, 96%. Winds out of the west at 6. The barometer, 30.03 and steady. 
and it's 51 degrees. Forty hundredths of an inch of rain the past 24 hours at Radio Center on Thompson Ridge Road. Again, a reminder, accidents in the clearing stages, Richardson Street at Atlanta Highway, south of Gainesville. Also still a big mess on I-85 southbound, bumper to bumper. At last report from Georgia 316 to Beaver Ruin because of two accidents blocking four left lanes near Beaver Ruin. I'm Ken Stanford, and you're up to date at 744. When news breaks, you're at first on WDUN AM 55, the information and talk station. Up next on our 730 update for Wednesday, sports headlines with Chuck Hush, and this edition brought to you by Harrison Tire Service. What does performance mean? In driving, it means traction, cornering, ride, and handling. It also means Goodyear tires from Harrison Tire Service. Harrison Tire has just the right tire for performance driving. The Goodyear Eagle ST is designed for performance and built to look good with sporty raised white letters. Put Goodyear Eagle STs on your car with help from Harrison Tire Service. It's performance from a name you know and folks you trust. Harrison Tire, 124 West Academy Street, Gainesville. 7.45 now at WDUN AM 55, and Chuck Hushin is here with a look at sports headlines. Chuck? Thank you, Joel. Investigators in Florida say it'll be several days before they know if alcohol was a factor in that boating accident that killed Cleveland pitchers Tim Cruz and Steve Olin Monday night. However, Florida TV stations are saying one of the players had a blood alcohol content of .17. That's above the state's legal intoxication limit of .10. None of the reports say which player. Bob Ojeda of the Indians, injured in that accident, remains in serious condition after undergoing surgery for a severe head cut. Meantime, Rusty Cooper of the Florida Freshwater Game and Fish Division talks about the speed involved in the accident. On the bass boat, which is an 18-foot, 5-inch skeeter bass boat, it uh, was already pulled ashore by the MS crew. When we inspected the dock, which is a 185-foot pier, we found three 4-inch posts sheared off. So the vessel went under the dock at a high rate of speed. So the Baltimore Orioles-Cleveland Indians exhibition game has been canceled for the second straight day because of that accident. Meantime, the Braves are due in Vero Beach to take on the L.A. Dodgers. Just 12 days remaining now until opening day on April 5th as the Braves open up in Chicago against the Cubbies. Hawks had a good night. They defeated the Dallas Mavericks 125-107. That's eight wins in the last nine tries for Atlanta. And in high school baseball in this area, Roswell will visit Johnson. That's a 5 o'clock game. East Hall is at West Hall for a 5 o'clock starter. Gainesville hits a road to Lovett. That's a 4.30 game in Atlanta. And Lumpkin County will be at Gilmer County in LJ for a 4.30 game. I'm Chuck Hushin. We'll have more sports coming up in 30 minutes on WDUN AM 55, the information and talk station. Remember Bob Eubanks of the Newlywed game? Yes. Uh, a great game show host. He did a good job with that. One of my all-time favorites. He is going to be back with a new game show called Family Secrets. And they're going to have a family, two adults, and one child that will kind of battle each other on what, what they know best in the in their family mm -hmm. and uh, they're going to have prizes and cash of course and it will uh, mostly be vacations family vacations they're going to do this at disney world in orlando so it's going to be a real family valued program bob eubank says that the the family value programs are the really the ones that are going to have to make it this day and age mm -hmm. as far as game shows are concerned it's got to be a different twist than just more money he says and, and this is probably true Hard to get excited about what's behind door number one when, when lotteries in the area of states uh, may have $77 yeah. million dollars available. That's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. And the families tell secrets on each other? Yes, or? evidently, and how much the family knows about each other. Well, I wonder if they can stand to go on vacation with each other when it's all over. <laughs> they may not. Absolutely may not. All right, our time is uh, 747 at WDUN AM 55. We'll have the grocery game coming up in the 8 o'clock hour. Sunshine and 53 degrees in Gainesville. And uh, coming up just around the corner, Mark Halo on with headlines and another look at that tough traffic situation on I-85 southbound. While you were sleeping, your taste buds were dreaming about juicy prime rib. So tender and tasty, it melts in your mouth, surrounding them with flavor. Wake your taste buds up to a dream come true at Gertrude's Inside Holiday Inn Gainesville. Every Wednesday night from 5 till 10, Gertrude's brings you their all-you-care-to-eat prime rib buffet, complete with vegetables, fresh bread, soup, salad, and homemade desserts. And it's all just nine. 95 every Wednesday night at Gertrude's Holiday Inn, Jesse Jewel Parkway, Gainesville. How would your significant other describe you? Would she say you're dressed with a flair for fashion? Or were more of the conservative type? However she envisions you, Barry Manufacturing has men's clothing in the latest spring fashions in almost all sizes. 
Take the fashionable dresser, for instance. You'll see him in a lightweight, 100% cool wool, double-breasted suit, styled by Barry's own Italian design team. Now at an unbeatable $136.95. Or there's Mr. Conservative in his traditionally designed wool blend suit, now from only $99.95. Whatever the taste, Barry is tailored to your budget. Barry Manufacturing, America's best men's clothing value. America's best value in men's clothing is easy to find in Gainesville. Just look for Barry Manufacturing on Browns Bridge Road. Visa MasterCard, American Express, and Discover Card accepted. John Haynes of Window Treatments Furniture and Design say they have more than window treatments. That's right. You know, we started off basically as a window covering company where we made all of our own draperies. What we've done now is we've come in, we've added furniture, wallpaper, uh, interior design service to our whole package. And we've got three interior designers on staff that can help you with all your furniture needs as well as your window covering needs. For all your decorating needs, choose Window Treatments Furniture and Design under the red awning at Washington and Green Streets, Gainesville. Our time, 7.50 at WDUN AM 55. We are 10 away from 8 o'clock. Uh, something's triggered this, but I wanted to remind you. Uh, just kind of filled you. Remember on Monday we had that little lost deaf dog? Remember that? And a lady called up and a little frantic, and you can understand why. The dog needed medication, what have you. And a, a listener heard about it, had the dog, got the dog and the owner back together again. So local radio you can use right here, folks. WDUN AM 55. I bring that up because we have now a, a lost older male black lab near the Mountain View Park area in Brownsbridge Road. That's Mountain View Park and Brownsbridge Road. Answers to the name of Sketchmo. And uh, he's been missing since uh, midnight Monday. And naturally, they're worried about him. When you have an older dog, he really is a part of the family. I got a number here. And maybe if you've seen the dog or you know where the dog is in that area, 532 6691. That's 532 6691. Let me also mention if you want to call us, uh, we'll try to get in touch with the folks as well. That's Mountain View, Brownsbridge Road area, an older black male uh, Labrador retriever, an interest in the name of Sketchmo, and they would love to have that uh, member of the family back. Let's go to the news desk now. We're WDUN AM 55's Mark Aloine is standing by with an update on headlines and traffic. Thanks, Joel. Good morning, everyone. Columnist and author Louis Grizzard has been added to a national list for a heart transplant after undergoing more than 12 hours of open-heart surgery a couple of days ago. And many people attending a solid waste management seminar at Gainesville College last night said mandatory recycling is not the answer to getting more people involved in recycling. Checking traffic for you on this Tuesday morning, you'll find an accident at Richardson Street and Atlanta Highway, and traffic is still bumper to bumper on I-85 southbound from Georgia 316 to Beaver Bruin Road because of two accidents blocking four of the left lanes. If you see news or a traffic problem happening, let us know. It's a free call for Bell South Mobility customers at Star 55. I'm WDUN's Mark Alewi with headlines and traffic. Thank you very much, Mark. And, uh, you know, Easter is coming up very soon, and in the Christian community, for us, uh, that is a, a very uh, sentimental, sacred holiday. But there are other aspects to the holiday as well, like any holiday, always two or three meetings. And uh, you'll have family. That's a big part of Easter coming by. You'll want to get the house just right. Those added incentives and decorations and what have you for the uh, family get-togethers in the Easter season. Let us recommend the Brass Key on Thompson Bridge Road uh, because they do such a great job having everything that you need. Now, when we mean everything, we mean everything that you need for the holiday or the spring season as a whole. Don't forget that, too. You'll have more entertaining outdoor festivities. You'll be on the patio on the deck and in the backyard a whole lot more. And Marianne Amani and all the crew there, they have just everything you're going to need for outdoor entertaining, indoor entertaining, something to make the deck or the home or the, or the den or whatever look a little more special. And I want to recommend also those, uh, those fantastic Easter bunnies made out of the parachute material that are so soft and cuddly and fluffy and squishy and huggable. Kids love them. And also, Easter egg trees. Big thing now for Easter time. They've got a complete selection of those with all the accessories. And I think we're planning on one of those, too, because uh, uh, we've had them in our house before the baby came along. We know she'll love it. That's all at the Brass Key. They're on Thompson Bridge Road, open to about 5 o'clock every afternoon. They're nice folks to let you come in and just browse. No pressure. A lot of fun things to see. A neat store. If you haven't seen it, try it out. The Brass Key, Thompson Bridge Road right across from WDUN AM 55. Here's Bill Blakemore for Peter Jennings. I knew it. Just when I've spent three weeks eating a goodly number of walnuts most every day because the newspaper told me they're good for your heart and I love walnuts. No, maybe not, says the paper now. And it's not just walnuts, darn journalists. 
Peter Jennings is off today. I'm Bill Blakemore for the ABC Information Network. Oh, I'm guilty, all right. I'll admit it. Last year, when we heard from France that lots of fattened goose liver pate is eaten by people who have low incidence of heart disease, I began a whole new relationship with foie gras, as it's known. Buttery. Spread it on a cracker. A whole pack of crackers. Mmm, good for the heart, I told myself, licking my teeth as it slipped all silky down the throat, making pungent little explosions along the way. But no, maybe it was the wine those French farmers drink that protected their hearts, says the paper now. Or maybe not even the wine, but something else no one knows about. And the newspaper now says most of the heart diet studies we've heard about lately are unsure. It's all prompted a vision for me of that Dana Carvey, George Bush impersonation that's worked its way into our national attic. I can see Carvey now sitting up there in the dusty sunlight amid piles of newspapers as he tells us, walnuts, good. Baldness, bad. Goose liver pate, good. Margarine, bad. Grapes, good. Birthdays, bad. One glass of wine, good. Earlobe creases, bad. Low iron, good. Dreaming, bad. Surreal, man. So the paper now tells me there's some level-headed heart researcher in Boston named Dr. Muller who points out that none of the above are proven because scientists cannot find any biological connections, only coincidences. And maybe only in some cases. That walnut study, for example, turns out to have been sponsored by the California Walnut Growers Association. And the baldness study? By a company making anti-baldness cream. They apparently didn't want people blaming heart attacks on their cream. Even the connection with stress they don't really understand yet. Whether it's sudden stress, like learning your favorite dog is stuck in the clothes dryer, or long-term stress, as in a dangerous job, or as in reading the newspapers. Is it Friday yet? For the ABC Information Network, I'm Bill Blakemore. From sunup until sundown, all roads lead to Milton Martin Honda on Browns Bridge Road. This is Ronnie Nichols inviting you out to our special sale in progress right now at 5.9% financing on brand new Honda four-door Civics. I have DXs, LXs, some five-speeds, some automatics, all with air conditioning and stereo cassettes. They're not stripped automobiles. Supplies are limited now. 5.9% financing right now. Milton Martin Honda, Browns Bridge Road. Come out and have a great time with us. All you wanted was some lunch, so you headed over to Eatery Alley on Jesse Jewell Parkway, and instead of something from the grill, you got gridlock. Well, take it easy on yourself today with lunch at Poor Richard's. Poor Richard's is now open for lunch weekdays from 11 till 3 with delicious soups, salads, sandwiches, and complete entrees. The only thing you won't find is gridlock. Forget the Jesse Jewell Jam and sink your teeth into lunch at Poor Richard's, Cleveland Highway, Gainesville. Bimbo, have I shown you the pictures of that pendant I had remounted for Sheila at Christmas? Wait a minute, Bubba. Look at these pictures of the horseshoe ring that I bought for Aaron. Folks, you can't see the pictures, but we can tell you that they all came from our friend David Coker at Coker's Jewelry Center. Now, David is hometown, folks, and he really knows jewelry. So whether it's something, you know, completely new or doing like I did and having something remounted, Coker's Jewelry Center on Broad Street inside Lawrence Pharmacy. Go by and see David. He's a jewel. No, he's a jeweler. He's also a heck of a nice guy. Fellas, update the WDUN AM 55 three-day forecast brought to you by Monday's Audio Video. With a terrible grimace and a horrible sound, King Kong takes a bite out of the Big Apple when suddenly your VCR takes a bite out of King Kong. It's Monday's Audio Video to the rescue. During their grand opening celebration, Monday's has remote control VCRs starting at just $139. Plus, Monday's has JVC factory refurbished home stereo receivers for only $99. Remember, that VCR could develop a taste for fried green tomatoes tomatoes, too. So head for Monday's Audio Video, Browns Bridge Road, Kingsville. Your three-day forecast, staff meteorologist Rob Carolyn says, on enough showers today with clouds and some sun. we got a kind of a mixture here, a full bag with a high of around 68. Showers continuing tonight into tomorrow and sunshine by late on Friday. 53 degrees at WDUN AM 55, the information and talk station. Now let's have a business news brought to you by Duplicating Products and Carriage Nissan. This is the Wall Street Journal report, a bad review for the Clinton plan. I'm Ian Lafond. Details in a moment. Tired of spending a fortune on a copier that's not meeting your business needs? Duplicating Products has the answer. Sharp copiers. Duplicating Products specializes in customizing their products and services to fit your unique needs. After nearly 20 years serving Northeast Georgia, Duplicating Products proudly adds sharp copiers to their all-star lineup. They aren't necessarily the biggest dealer, but they always give you the most for your copier dollar. Duplicating Products, 360 Oak Street. Contact them for your sharp copier. 
The used car inventory at Carriage Nissan is bulging because of all the new car sales in February. And now, Carriage Nissan must clear them out. You'll find something for every budget, starting as low as $500. Whether it's a sports car, luxury car, family car, truck, or sport utility truck, Carriage has just what you want. Carriage Nissan, Brownsbridge Road, Gainesville. You'll like the way they do business at Carriage Volvo Mazda. And Carriage Nissan. On the whole, Americans are willing to give President Clinton's economic plan a chance, but the nation's manufacturers say it'll be a flop. Nine out of ten surveyed say they don't believe the short-term stimulus package is an effective way to boost growth and new hiring. Mostly the plan's tax increases will offset the benefits of lower borrowing costs. Stiff competition and health care costs. They're the reasons Merck is giving for plans to trim its worldwide workforce by a thousand or two and a half percent, and the giant drug maker says its profits for the year won't meet Wall Street's expectations. U.S. share prices are slightly higher in Europe, but Merck is down a dollar and a half at 35.50 on its warning of lower than expected profits. Stock slipped just a bit in New York yesterday. The Dow Jones Industrials down 1.62 to 34.61.86. The dollar's mixed and slipping in Europe. Gold's lower, trading in London at 3.31.35 an ounce, and that's down 60 cents from the New York spot close. ABC News is next, followed by WDUN News and Weather. Then more of Northeast Georgia's morning show on WDUN. Gainesville. ABC News brought to you by Badcock Home Furnishings and Office Furniture USA. From ABC News, I'm Joe Templeton. Good morning. It looks like the constitutional crisis in Russia may be cooling a bit. ABC's John Donvan in Moscow says a decree released by President Yeltsin today did not have any reference to a provision that had alarmed his opponents. This has all the signs of being the beginning of the end of the crisis. Yeltsin's decree does not mention emergency rule which is what he was talking about over the weekend when everything blew up here. Yeltsin is in talks with his rivals, and deputies at the parliament are saying that as far as they're concerned, because the new decree does not call for emergency rule, then there are no grounds to impeach the president. Now at the White House, ABC's Kathleen Delasky says President Clinton and his senior advisors have been working on an aid package for Russia. It looks like they're going to target specific, or at least try to target specific industries in Russia, such, a, such as oil and gas, to try to get a quick fix and quick results to help bolster Yeltsin politically. Correspondent Delasky says the package will be presented to the Russian foreign minister when he meets with President Clinton later today. ABC News has learned that the alleged ringleader of the group that bombed the World Trade Center last month has been arrested overseas and will be back in the States in a matter of hours. ABC's Morton Dean says Mohammed Abba Halimima has been custody in Egypt for a few days. He was picked up by Egyptian authorities in Alexandria and then taken to Cairo. Uh, today, a plane with FBI agents flew from the United States to Cairo. The Egyptians provided the suspect. He was put on the plane and he's on his way back to the United States. Correspondent Dean says two more arrests in connection with the bombings are expected in the next few weeks. U.N. helicopters today began evacuating the wounded from the east Bosnian town of Srebrenica. A U.N. spokesman says three helicopters evacuated 21 wounded civilians today. The 900 members of the American Medical Association are meeting in Washington today. They'll hear about President Clinton's upcoming health care proposals from Vice President Gore and Health Secretary Donna Shalala. You're listening to ABC News. Clean up this spring at Badcock Home Furnishing Center. You'll find a four-piece bedroom group as low as $299.95. A three-piece living room group as low as $699.95. Get cooking with a White Westinghouse 30-inch electric range for just $299.95. Hot points, no frost, 18.2 cubic foot refrigerator is $599.95. Badcock Home Furnishing Center, Monday Mill Road, Oakwood. It's the grand opening of a great new way to buy office furniture. At Office Furniture USA. Beautiful office chairs, high-quality desks, tables, and accessories. And everything in the showroom is 50% off every day. Come see us at Office Furniture USA, where office furniture for your business makes good business sense. Office Furniture USA. Office Furniture USA, a division of McGarity's, 1250 Washington Street, across from Lakeshore Mall, Gainesville. WDUN AM 55. The National Institutes of Health is recruiting dozens of HIV-infected volunteers to help test a new drug that could be used against the deadly AIDS virus. In test tube experiments, the drug has sterilized cell cultures that have been infected with the virus. It looks like the Senate is ready to follow the House and to approve President Clinton's five-year budget-cutting plan and his job stimulus package. 
Senate Democrats yesterday turned back proposals to ease defense cuts. Democrats are also working to keep in the economic plan a proposal to raise taxes on better off Social Security recipients. What's being called the Freedom of Choice Act should get a boost from a Senate committee today. The bill would guarantee women abortion rights. Opponents say they'll try to weaken the bill when it reaches the Senate floor. This is the last day of school in Kalkoska, Michigan. Voters in the rural district have repeatedly turned down a tax increase to keep the schools open. Superintendent Doyle Dispro says when faced with the budget shortfall, his schools concentrated on good education instead of holding out for a specific number of days. We are doing that in a quality way with lower class sizes for 135 days. And we believe that is much better education than putting 50 or 60 kids in a room for 180 days. Dispro says the students in Kalkoska are disappointed that the public would not accept a tax increase to pay for a full school year. Graduation ceremonies will be held Saturday. This is ABC News. Oh, sweetie, I don't understand you. Uh, I've got hemorrhoids. But what did the doctor say? For my symptoms, he said to use Preparation H ointment, and he suggested Preparation H cleansing tissues for cleansing. Well, honey, do what he says, yeah. please. They'll help you feel better. Okay. The formula for Preparation H cleansing tissues was developed by a surgeon. Soothing, alcohol-free. They're pre-moistened to clean and freshen tender skin. When hemorrhoids flare up, doctors recommend Preparation H ointment. For everyday cleansing, they recommend Preparation H cleansing tissues. Use as directed. For well, the ABC Information Network, I'm Joe Temple. WTUN AM 55, continuing morning news time is 8.05. Good morning, I'm Ken Stanford. Our top stories this hour, Mother Nature lashes northeast Georgia again. And the 1993 session of the Georgia General Assembly is history. Ah, but Mother Nature looking very good right now with sunshine. Here's Rob Carolyn. Well, the pa weather pattern looks like it is going to remain unsettled across the area the next couple of days. But I think we'll get a few short breaks. I'll have the forecast in a few minutes. 54 degrees in Gainesville at WDUN AM 55 with beautiful sunshine. Hi, this is Chuck Hushin in sports. Uh, Bobby Kremen's decision on leaving Georgia Tech could come today. We'll have details coming up. Checking traffic still have that accident I-85 southbound in the clearing stages, and that has been a major backup today. That is Beaver Ruin Road. Also, we have an uh, accident earlier in Gainesville now in the clearing stages on Atlanta Highway at Richardson Street. This news brought to you by Cellular One, Kessler Tire, and Halos Tax Service. Tornadoes destroyed one home and damaged a shelter for use in Hart County last night, but no one was injured. The twisters hit shortly after dark, according to Hart County Deputy Sheriff Tim Teasley, who saw one of the funnels go down. What some critics are calling the least productive session of the General Assembly in years is history this morning. And it ended last night at 9.30. Maria Boynton, Maria Boynton has the story. State Senator Arthur Edge of Noonan says the governor's attempt to change the state flag dominated the session and took away time and consideration that could have been given other issues. The governor put it on the table. And, and we had to deal with it. And uh, so, it, and unfortunately, we're going to come back next year and deal with it again. Edge adding the flag issue could very well be a distraction next year. Governor Miller drew national attention with his plan to change the flag, but backed away when the issue became one of the most racially divisive in modern times. State Representative Calvin Smarry of Columbus says in his 19 legislative years, this was his most difficult. The large number of new lawmakers, he says, was the problem. Uh, next session, uh, it'll be a political year, and hopefully we'll produce some good things for the people of Georgia. But this this has been a tough year. Others blame the lax in productivity on so-called rebels or lawmakers struggling to ride the winds of change. Maria Boynton, Georgia Network News. A Chamber of Commerce meeting in Gainesville has been told that business is going to have to get involved in the legislative process earlier in order to protect its interests now that the bill now that Bill Clinton is in office. The speaker was Jim Shell, who is the U.S. Chamber's senior legislative manager. The problem of how to deal with solid waste was a topic of discussion during a forum at Gainesville College last night. Most of the discussion centered on recycling and how it could improve the solid waste problem. Bert Ayers says one of the things that must be done is to keep up with what different markets are disposing of. Many Hall County residents attending the forum said mandatory recycling isn't the answer to getting more people involved in recycling. State health officials will conduct a new round of meningitis vaccinations in Carroll County. State officials announced the program yesterday. Last week, two more people in the West Georgia County were diagnosed with the disease. And the Gainesville Planning Commission is going to expand its study of a revision of the Washington Street Development Plan to include a study of other redevelopment proposals in and around downtown. Planners said yesterday they will soon hold a neighborhood meeting to consider relaxing restrictions on development along Washington Street. 
WD when AM55 continuing news time is 808. With Cellular One service, you could use your car phone to talk to anyone for 100 minutes for less than $50. Sure, I can have it out to you Thursday. Uh, how many units do you need? Try that with another service other than Cellular One, and you'll either spend around $70 or hang up early. Okay, they'll be delivered by... Hello? Hello? Why pay more for quality cellular coverage when you don't have to? Save money this year. Call on Cellular One. Phone 519-CELL. Hello, Kessler Tire. May I help you? Yes, I need to order the taco and enchilada plate. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but this is Kessler Tire, not Tacos to Go. We have name brand tires, do alignment. Oh, Kessler Tire. You don't have to tell me about Kessler Tire. I know about them. They well, offer we... great Firestone tires and professional service. Yeah, we... You know, you should get them to work on your delivery van. <laughs> yeah. Now, about those tacos, uh, I also Ma'am, want... we don't have tacos. Well, what's wrong? Are you out? <sighs> Why me? Kessler Tire, Atlanta Highway, Gainesville. If you think rush hour during Snow Jam 93 was bad. Wait until you try to get to the post office April 15th. Better yet, don't wait. This is Del Richards of Halas Tax Service. See us before March is over and we'll prepare your 1040, 1040A, or 1040EZ and get your rapid refund for only $69. So call me at Halas Tax Service at 536-1844. We're Halas Tax Service on Auburn Avenue next to J&J Foods in Gainesville. Halas, the best little tax house in Georgia. If it's happening in Northeast Georgia, then it's on the information and talk station. WDUN, AM 55. Continuing morning news time, now 810. Beautiful sunshine in Gainesville. How long will it last? We'll find out with Rob Carolyn and the three-day forecast brought to you by Tri-State Distributors. Home is where the heart is. And if your heart is in a manufactured home, you need to know about Tri-State Distributors. They have a full line of manufactured home supplies and accessories from underpinning to heating and cooling units by Intertherm. Keep your home comfortable and cozy year-round with Intertherm systems. Tri-State can repair and help maintain your home. They have all the answers when it comes to manufactured homes. Tri-State Distributors, Hilton Drive, behind Hardy Chevrolet, Gainesville. Now let's check the WDMN AM 55 three-day forecast, and here's Rob Carolyn. Eventually, this morning's fog will give way to variably cloudy conditions, and we are expecting a passing shower or two to develop, especially this afternoon, high 63 to 68. Tonight, it'll be partly cloudy, some patchy fog redeveloping, lows tonight 40 to 45. For tomorrow, partly to mostly cloudy with afternoon showers, high of 65. Cloudy, occasional rain for Thursday night, lows 40 to 45, and the rain will gradually taper off during the day on Friday. Highs will be in the middle 60s. I'm meteorologist Rob Carolyn with the WDUN AM 55 three-day forecast. Partly cloudy, 51 degrees in Marietta, Brunswick, light fog, and 65. Here in Gainesville, skies are mostly clear, relative humidity 97%. Winds out of the west at 6, the barometer 30.03 and steady. The temperature is 54 degrees. Again, a reminder, big problem southbound 85 this morning from Georgia 316 to Beaver Ruin because of two earlier accidents. I'm Ken Stanford, and you're up to date at 811. When news breaks, you're at first on WDUN AM 55, the information and talk station. Thank you, Ken. Up next, we have sports headlines with Chuck Ushin, brought to you by our good friends at Paul Smith Cleaners. Hi, this is Jerry Pop at Paul Smith Cleaners. Since my college days, I have always enjoyed wearing starched white dress shirts with wrinkle-free collars and smooth, firm cuffs. That's why I insist the shirts we finish on our new equipment at Paul Smith Cleaners meet the highest standards of quality with no broken buttons. I know that many of you are looking for the same quality shirt finishing that I demand, and you can have it. Bring your shirts to our only location at 416 Bradford Street, one block behind Treasures for Your Home. Twelve and a half past eight, and here's Chuck Hushin with WDUN AM 55 Sports. Thanks, Joel. South Carolina Athletics Director Mike McGee hasn't put his search for a new basketball coach on hold while Georgia Tech's Bobby Kremens makes up his mind. Sources close to Kremens says he will make a decision today. That's according to the Columbia State newspaper. However, the state said McGee has continued with interviews, including one on Monday with Washington State coach Kelvin Sampson in Denver. Meanwhile, the Charlotte, North Carolina Observer today says or quotes an unidentified source as saying that Kremens will likely be staying at Georgia Tech. NIT action, they wrapped up the second round last night. Georgetown grabbed a 23-4 lead and crushed Texas El Paso 71-44. 
in the final second round game of the tournament. Three uh, quarterfinal round games coming up tonight. In pro basketball, the Hawks made it eight wins in the last nine tries as they defeated the Dallas Mavericks at the Omni last night. 125-107 the final. The Mavs' road record falls to 1-31 and on the year, but Bob Weiss says these kinds of games are tough to coach. On the back, though, which is an 18-foot, 5-inch skater back. That is not Bob Weiss, but uh, he says that the Mavericks, although they uh, are not the uh, shining lights in the NBA, still can put it in the hole, and uh, he has to be wary of such teams because they need every victory to uh, qualify for the playoffs. They got a big one last night. The Atlanta Falcons, who are expected to acquire San Francisco defensive end Pierce Holt today via a contract offer sheet, could lose three-year veteran Oliver Barnett the same way. Buffalo Bills general manager John Butler confirmed on Tuesday evening that his club has signed Barnett, a restricted free agent, to an offer sheet. The Falcons now have one week to match the three-year $2.4 million offer and retain Bar uh, Barnett or lose him to the Bills. Meanwhile, the Falcons say they are no longer interested in signing defensive lineman Reggie White, presumably because they have an all-pro coming in and Pierce Holt from the 49ers. The Braves are in Vero Beach today where they take on the L.A. Dodgers in a 105 game. Bravos took yesterday off in college baseball. Georgia visits Georgia State at South DeKalb College, 1 o'clock starter there. Georgia Southern is at Clemson for a 3 o'clock game. Southern Tech is at Piedmont for a 1 o'clock game. Piedmont defeated DePaul yesterday, 10-5. That game called after five innings. Western Carolina knocked off number one Georgia Tech, 4-3. And Florida State over Duke, 8-5, the final in that one. High school baseball today, Roswell at Johnson. East Hall will visit West Hall. Gainesville at Lovett in Atlanta. And Lumpkin County at Gilmer. I'm Chuck Hushman. We'll have more sports coming up in 30 minutes on WDUN AM 50. The information and talk station. All right, Chuck, let's play the grocery game, if you will. Designate a caller for us. And here we go. Number 17. Okay, 535-2911, 1-800-552-WDUN. And on Bell South Mobility at Star 55. We're looking for a product in a grocery store. Uh, identify the product after we give you the clues. You'll win the cake of the week, which is chocolate from Norris Hometown Grocery. And you'll qualify for $55 in groceries, which we'll draw for on Saturday. This is our last week of this, too, by the way. So caller 17, call now, and good luck. When we come back, we'll check in on our uh, contest. Also, we'll have headlines and traffic. And before the hour is up, Paul Harvey with news and comment on the Wednesday morning show from WDUN AM 55. If your woofers sound like this... <laughs> Instead of this, then today's the day to tune up for spring with Monday's audio video. The grand opening celebration of their Dalton store features Yamaha home speakers with 8-inch woofers and 100-watt capability for just $39 each. And for hitting the highway, there's the JVC KSR 125 AM FM with cassette for only $79. The state's guaranteed lowest prices just got lower at Monday's audio video, Browns Bridge Road, Gainesville. It's time to get grilling, and Norris Hometown Grocery has everything you need. Like market fresh top sirloin steaks at $2.59 a pound, ground beef, $1.49 in the family pack, and chicken breast tenders are only $2.69 a pound. You'll enjoy your favorite Coke or Pepsi product at only $1.50 per six pack. And settle down with a cake of the week from the deli. Fresh chocolate is only $1.49. It's all at the old fashioned store just outside of town. Norris Hometown Grocery, Old Cornelia Highway, Gainesville. When you want steak, you want a steak cooked by somebody who knows steak. That's why you want to go to the Steak Barn tonight. The Steak Barn specialty is a delicious tender roast prime rib of beef. And Chef Charlie uses USDA Choice Supreme Angus beef. You'll want to start your meal with one of the Steak Barn's awesome flowering onions and top it off with one of the Steak Barn's super home-baked desserts. The Steak Barn, 1810 Browns Bridge Road in Gainesville. Try it tonight. Try Chef Charlie's special catfish fillets with all the trimmings only $5.99. WDUN AM 55 goes live on location this weekend. Hi there, this is Daryl Harris. Yes, coming up this weekend, we are going to be at Lakeshore Mall from 10 to 1 for a very big event. We want you to join us. What's the event? The Easter Bunny is coming to town. We're going to have balloons. Raggedy Ann and Andy will be there. We'll have a wonderful wheel of prizes. In short, a fabulous time. Join us Saturday from 10 to 1 right here at Lakeshore Mall on WDUN AM 55. Well, Louise Clark has been nice enough to give us a call. Caller 17 to be exact. Hi, Louise. Hi. Welcome to the morning show. Nice to have you with us. We're Hi. playing the grocery game, as you know, and we're looking for one word to describe an item that you would find in the store. It's a grocery item. Begins with an R, ends with an S. And how many letters did I tell you? I think there are eight letters in the word yes. 
And are you ready to go? Yes. We'll give you 30 seconds, uh, 30 seconds after those preliminary clues, and here come your other clues. Round and red. Very crisp. Round, red, and crisp. White and hot on the inside. So round on the, and red on the outside, and white, hot on the inside. And it's a summertime favorite, great in potato salad. Round and red and crisp. White and hot on the inside, and a summertime favorite, great in potato salad. At least for Daryl, because he came up with the clues. Begins with an R, ends with an S. I don't believe I know it. Okay, Louise. Hey, thanks for trying today, though. I'm glad you gave it the old team spirit, and uh, if you uh, think about it, we'll play later on this hour. Give us a call back, okay? Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Our time now is 18 past 8. We have sunshine and 54 degrees. Today's high should be around 68 degrees, and we still have the chance of on and off.